Ladies and gentlemen, after our brief visit into the lands, into the capital of bliss, we return to the sadness that is dementia. Um, and today, let me throw on my uh, regular outfit yet again. Get some more magica for ourselves. Also, the uh, yeah, that's that's a big boon as well. A big boon. Who in the fuck says that? But yeah, today we know there's a city somewhere down over here. And then there's also <clears throat> a fortress just after that. Uh, so yeah, we'll be exploring hopefully both of those locations today. Got a good feel for them, for the two of them. And god damn, it's laggy as a motherfucker over here. Okay, that's always fun. Okay, it's like really laggy though. Like, annoyingly laggy. Ooh, a week of just a verdant gnarl? Holy smokes. You know, God damn it, fuck, stop fucking rolling. Okay, thank you. Jesus, okay. Yeah, we got this town down over here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. See what's going on. Goodness, okay, this is actually just painfully laggy. I'm gonna see I'm gonna save the game real quick, quit the game, and then I'll be right back, okay? Alright, well, let's see if that does anything to help us out here. Um, alright, let uh see I guess we can yeah, we'll go to the town first, since it's right here, huh? Ooh, the fucking ravenous hunger. Well, ain't gonna be hungry for much longer. It's gonna be dead as hell. Okay, it is dead. Okay. Well, let's town... What depressing-ass town could this be? <clears throat> Deep Wallow. Yeah, that sounds like a great place to live. Wow, who wouldn't want to live in Deep Wallow? <laughs> Let's uh, wait until morning. Hopefully somebody can come out of their houses and I won't have to, you know, break down the doors in the middle of the night. I feel like uh, 10.30 feels like a reasonable time for people to be up and about. Is it not? Perhaps it is not. Uh, steal their plants. Fungus stock. Of course, who doesn't want to raise fungus stock? Did I even collect a single one? I don't think I collected a single one of those fucking things. That was sad. Um, no, but seriously though, where the fuck is everybody? Do, do these people never leave their houses? What's, what's the deal here? Belial's or something like that's house. Hello. I'm Beely. Beely. Hmm. You came from out there and I you survived. I did. Yes. Then how do I know you're not one of them? That's a really good question. I oh okay. I guess I can't even answer to you. Shambles dying. Stand back. They'll take you with them. Oh, I've killed Are multiple, and I, I've never experienced such a phenomenon. So I don't really know what you're talking about. Um. Okay. Well, I don't know what you mean by one of them, but uh, I, perhaps I am one of them. Who who really knows? Uh. Okay. And dull fump. Grow Urgosh's house. Dol Dolfumpf? What the fuck kind of name is that? Hello, Hello. Dolfumpf. Dolfumpf Grow Urgosh. Fumpf? Scalon Killer. You Scalon Killer, wow, pretty impressive. Know what's good for you. Never know when one might be okay. up behind you. True. Yes, those things are very stealthy. You visit Hale, you may see Pike, a knight of the thorn. I really, I really want to go to Hale. That would be really cool, because as, as a member of the Knights of the Thorn, that feels like it would be really cool. Um, what's my personality right now? I thought I thought I boosted it. No, oh, maybe I didn't. All right. Hey, I hope you covered your tracks. Last yep. thing you want is a Scalon picking up on This dude is addicted to the fucking Scalons, huh? Looking. Man, those things must be deadly as hell. Those are like the weakest enemies that we got out here. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. And who else is over here? Well, this is, I thought there would be at least like some excitement out here, but it doesn't seem like there is, unless this guy. Oh. No, you're not one of them. Still, you've no business being here. Do you guys all think I'm like a scalon or something? Tell them Erver is ready and waiting. Will do. Aye, aye, I Captain. They're coming. They'll come for you like they came for Ooh. my sister. Put her on the hill of suicides. Well, did she commit suicide? Oh, what can you tell me about the hill of suicides? It's where you end up if you don't die according to his plan. Oh. They will drive you to it, like they did poor Gabriel. Who the fuck is they, bruh? I loved her, and then she was gone. Oh, damn, that's rough. 
It said any soul on the hill can be released if their remains are brought to them. Where are her remains then? I could, I, I could probably help you out. Free the souls become blessed. Really? Say for sure. They scatter the remains. Why? Because Shay Gorath is okay with us bastards. freeing their souls. Okay. Well, you don't actually have any locations, right? I loved her. And then it she said, uh, yeah, uh, the they scatter the remains the all over the aisles. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Must be a terrible place to live. Well, I wouldn't know. Okay. I... Well, this guy, well, we know uh, a little bit of background about the Hills of Suicides now. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting like, at least like some sort of quest out there, but I guess information on the unmarked quest that we already kind of knew about just because I looked it up. Um, yeah, I guess that's also pretty helpful. But, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Let's check out whatever the hell's going on in this place. Maybe we can find some of the remains in here. If I can even get to the top of the mountain, that is. Hello! Oh, I got a fucking... Every time I run into these guys, my personality... I always have my personality set to... Uh, 255. Alright, now they can be mad at me. Oh, summoning a flesh atronox now? What the fuck? Ascended zealot? Okay, okay, there's kind of a lot of you. Uh, I'll loot the chest. <laughs> God, I'm carrying 900 fucking pounds of shit on me. That's just crazy to think, huh? Alright, one down. You really just gotta take the fucking hit, my dude. Eh, your thing times out. You're so dead, dude. Now, don't tell me you were actually able to summon whatever the fuck you were summoning. Nope, he wasn't. Okay. Senate Zealot? Well, you got nothing on you. No, yeah, y'all both got nothing on you. That's that's annoying. I am disappointed! Um, ba -ba -ba. It's a really long build-up to this place. Big mushroom tree. Okay, yeah, sure. Was there even an entrance over here? Oh, the staircase on the left here, huh? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Hmm. This seems like a very odd location. I feel like this should have a, uh... This should be quest-related kind of deal. Ooh, we can also boost another skill with this episode, huh? The Howling Halls. Well... I uh, did a little bit of research, and the Howling Halls are actually related to a quest, so we shall not be exploring the Howling Halls. Um, but yeah, so now that means we got to go to some other location. So we'll go back to New uh, to New Shayoth's graveyard. Heretics are fanatics. I believe Shagarth is just a mad, ma is just a mortal who needs to be overthrown, something like that. I've read that one a few times actually now. Um, yeah, so we'll take this path, and I guess we'll just start going down. I guess we can just yeah. Why not? You know? Nowhere else to go. Like, oh, look at this. I don't even want to fight the fucking thing. I just want to steal the stuff from here. Like, right? A nice little bit of amber? Hell yeah. I am always down for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a... It's a very tough place to try and traverse, Dementa. Very annoying trying to... Wiggle your way around. Look at this little spot. What's going on here? So I said, there has to be some sort of enemy over here. Surely, you know. Are there two of these now? Just one. I thought its tail was a second one. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, alright. Guess I'm fighting another fucking um, verdant gnarl. Hopefully he can, give, he can give me some amber or something. Anything good? Ooh, there we go. Speak of the devil. All right, let's, uh... God, I want to... I got to stick east. Stick towards the east, me. Stick towards the east. God, dude, there's just enemies fucking everywhere out here. It's so frustrating. Ugh. Ugh. Five, six, good. Gnarl bark, yeah, sure. Give me, give me a location, game. Give me a location. 
I just I just want something to to explore right now. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. Hello, senor. Como estás? Oh, I still have the bows on, the uh, arrows on me. I don't think I really need that. We can take that off. Oh. Uh, can't change weapons. Yep, definitely changing weapons. That's a very dr dramatic uh, explanation for my actions. Oh, fuck off, dude. I guess these are all just verdant gnarls. If I ran to an elder gnarl over here, oh, I'd be so pissed. <laughs> Melder Gnarl might be where I draw the line in a, in a random location like this. But that being said, where in the fuck is everybody, dude? I also like that my staff like blends in with the with the surroundings that with the uh, environment that I'm in. Mm. I shouldn't have said anything, right? If I didn't, if I hadn't said anything, I would not have seen this guy right now. He just did like a full fucking. <laughs> Who wiggle around like 360 while still standing? That was really funny. All right, dude, you dead yet? Thank you. Okay. I just want to find something to explore. Oh my fucking god! These things are fucking everywhere. Maybe I ought to just stick to the road, huh? Eh, well, already come this far. I want to explore as much as I can, just naturally, and then, you know, afterwards, I'm sure I'll look up the map of the Shivering Isles to make sure I actually explored everywhere that there actually is in the in the area. Um, but yeah, I thought there were a lot more locations than there actually are. It doesn't it doesn't seem like there's actually too too many locations out here. But enough, definitely enough to uh, keep you keep you entertained for a little while. Blood Island Camp. Like, why are these docks so fucking high? <laughs> okay. Ah, hello. Can't imagine you two being all too friendly. Pain bringer. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's get that back up. Right, yeah, I don't have anything going on there. A rot, rot, rot! Fucking making their little croaky noises. Oh, no sir, no sir, no sir. Some more madness ore, nice. Could always use more of that. Could always use more gold. Actually, don't think I could use. Well, I, mean, I, I could. Ooh, ooh, goddamn. Ooh, R.I.P. Whoever was originally living out here. That's a, that's that's a tough scene right there, bud. Ooh, the Grumites placing all their eggs. Oh, boy. You know, that would actually explain them being able to respawn here. <laughs> it's the one time you actually get an explanation for why something can actually respawn at a location. Uh, okay, we got a fort. We got a fort. Although I get the feeling that this fort might actually be quest-related. It's its own quest. It's actually, I think it's the one that we were, that we were talking about not too long ago. Maybe it's not. But I think this is still related to a, a different quest, now that I think about it. It's like, no matter where I go, there, there's just quests left and right. Shield up. Weakness up. I'm not too sure if I actually... Get, yeah, I gave him a weakness. Yeah, he's taking a decent amount of health here. He's taking some decent damage. A bam! A shock! Another shock! Shocking his ass. Shocking him right in the fucking cock. A shock to the cock. Shock to the cock. And you're too late. Yeah, this place is definitely related to a quest. Zendili Zendilian. The pain bringer. Well, I'm the one bringing the pain to you, motherfucker. Yes, that is... Actually, I think that might be, like, one of the next quests that we're going to be doing. Uh, which is kind of nifty. Um, Alright, well, let's take the road and travel up. Travel north now.
I'm just doing a big old loop. Ooh. Okay, it's Esto. Oh, I don't fuck. I don't fuck with the scaling. I got. I got enough warning about the scaling in already. Ah, what the hell is this? This is pretty fucking cool. It's like a scalian shrine. Scalin? Scalian? Scalin? Something like that. The hulking Scalin here to defend it too. Okay, yeah, Scalin Finn. Look at this fucking place. This is pretty cool. Ooh, wow. A lot of rewards here. Amber Sword Matrix, Gold, a, ma a Madness, Grieve Matrix, and a Madness Ore. Wow. That is really cool. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, well, the road is back that way, but this is north-northwest, which is actually perfect for us. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now we're, now we're getting some locations. Although, this, I think, is actually related to that quest. Uh, actually, no, I don't think so. No, this is different. This is a different location. I know that that quest that I'm thinking about is... is oh, okay, I did paralyze you there. So I think we're going to be okay. Oh, boy. He can really sneak up on you. Holy shit. Those dudes were not lying. Okay. Gosh darn, dude. Alright, I did also say that I'm, that I'm able to boost another skill, so let's do our... Yeah, we'll just go down the list. We'll do our agility today. What does agility, agility do? Affects your ability to maneuver and balance. Not quite sure what that means. Your total fatigue and damage done by bows. Well, total fatigue, is, I guess, is helpful. Yeah. It's not the craziest thing in the world. Probably one of the lesser helpful ones, but hey, we'll take it. Got all the balance in the world now. Oh yeah. Not sure what we're going to do with this balance, but cool. Do all of these fortresses start with the letter X? Right? I feel like they all have so far. Except for that other place. This this one place, the, the Howling Halls. Everywhere else that start with an X. Right? Literally everywhere. And that's pretty cool, though. Like keeping it uh, simple to the point. Zavara. All right, Zavara. Here we go. Varla stones. Zavara found in alien ruins will recharge your magical items. Wow. Don't think we ever would have known that. I also checked in this. Uh, oh, what did I set my personality to? What's the person? Where's the personality? One hundred. Okay. Just unfriendly enough. Um, yeah, this place also only has one zone, which is very nice. And it's also ascended zealots, and, well, just zealots in general, which have a little bit of variation, and they're not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to take a billion fucking hits to kill one of these things, which is always greatly appreciated from me. Yeah, fuck it, we're... Ooh. Well, we don't need to go super stealthy for these guys. These guys aren't that crazy. I've never been very impressed by humanoids. Who is there? A worm has arrived. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Just take a little. Just take their gold. Why not? Um, yeah, I don't actually really care that much about this. Okay. Is there another one of you? I oh, don't know. It's just your summon thingy. God, I want to summon one of those fucks. I mean, not that I'll ever actually use the summon, because, you know, I, I never actually use summons. But, yeah, they look pretty fucking cool. Um, I already went that way, right? Oh, there is nothing that way. Okay. Go. Cool. Ooh. Oh, there's, like, a cave inside this place, too. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, see, this is the cool stuff that I like. Caves that enter in the middle of a fortress gets you the best of both worlds like that fucking statues of shit everywhere oh yeah this is my kind of fucking place right here only one zone which you know you can do a couple zones and get away with it it's the five zoners that really fucking blow those are those those things fucking suck a cock uh all right well i can't go that way anyway so i actually have to go through the cave which is 
kind of weird because like there's no uh right like there's no like designed way within the location itself that was like blocked off because of a collapse or something it's just no you genuinely have to go through the cave in order to get here but hey shit don't make no fucking sense but it is what it is it is what it is it is what it is fuck you do a lot of damage dude why does everybody out here do so much goddamn damage Like, this is literally just with their regular weapons, too, because I resist all magic, right? Or maybe I didn't change back to that shield. I think it did, though. Yeah, I, I resist all magic. So what's the deal with that? Oh, that stuff got all knocked over. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, there were at least a couple things on there I would have wanted. Hmm. Well, it was a very brief trip through that, uh... Oh, look at this push button with a just creepy ass face on it. Kind of a common theme out here. Oh shit! Okay. Oh goddamn! Holy fuck! The whole place is falling apart. Okay. See, I feel like these other locations haven't had any traps or anything like. They even have these weird types of traps. They got everything over here. This is this is a fun location to explore. I I am a big fan. Enemies could be a little more difficult, and I would still allow it. But they're not, they're just easy enough, you know? Actually, they're probably a little too easy. A little bit too easy, but hey. Never gonna be perfect. Die, come on, come on. Die. Yep. Do that, oh yeah. Get our shield back up, oh yeah. Oh, yes sir. Alright, stop fucking running. Thank you. Sunded Zealot, you're gonna get smacked, aren't you? Nah, actually, not too bad. Sometimes these dudes have, like, I don't know, they're, they're all, like, the same type of Zealot, a lot of them, but then they just have different amounts of health. It's very strange. Um, okay, I feel like I've just been, like, blindly traversing this area right now. I gotta, I gotta coordinate where the fuck I'm actually going. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I gotta go back to the real world after this and sell some stuff pretty soon, huh? I, mean, I suppose I could sell stuff out here, but oh, the merchants ain't quite as nice. Oh, the thing's literally holding the the ore, the uh, urn, with 730 gold. Wow, that is quite a bit. You don't see that too often, I don't think. Uh, alright. That feels like the end, right? That feels like it ties back in with that. So let's go this way. Oh, jeez, that fucking actually kind of scared me there. Oh my god. It just keeps on going, dude. This really doesn't have a second zone? This really feels like it should have a second zone, because this is pretty goddamn cool. This is just, okay, it's just a massive... It's one zone, but it's just absolutely massive. Which I, I like and dislike at the same time. I don't know how I feel about this, but hey, all the different enemies in here? Okay. Getting some variety within the location itself, within the enemy types. That's, that's all you can ever ask for. This is perfect. Literally perfect. Ooh, goddamn, okay, you got fucking... Is that a regular-ass flesh astronaut? Oh, it is, okay. Okay, we gotta fuck off. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Before we die, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Okay, I don't want to fight you yet. I want to I wanna kill the familiar enemy first. Okay, good. Oh, right, yeah, oh, they, they, they have, like, a, a, win, a uh, cold explosion afterward. Fair enough. Mended Flesh Atronach. Yeah, so first time fighting a legit one of these. We've seen them summon before. Hmm, they have a lot of health. Oh, damn. How much damage do you do? Damn good amount of damage, okay. These guys are pretty strong. I like them. A nice, uh, you know, obviously you got the, the, the three normal Atronachs. And then now you got the Flesh Atronach. 
I don't know, this is, I guess this is Shay Grath's version of, uh, of the, you yeah, know, the typical Atronach. Very strange. Void Essence, hmm. Okay. Oh, and there was also a hound, right. Cool. Um, and then there's just the location. Anything good in here? No, nothing good on the bottom. Just a lot of walking for no good, for no good reason. Hmm. And then a statue for a Scalen. I, I've let, I really like her Scalen. Fuck, I always forget the names of these things. Um. Ooh, and a Madness Sword deposit. Cool. Yeah, I like all the statues to all the different types of enemies in here. Makes you kind of makes you feel as if like the, uh, you know, the, the the land itself is the driving factor with everything. Yeah, everything revolves around the land, but the 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 creatures that the that Shagorath has conjured in his mind or whatever the fuck. Okay, yeah, that's just a cool little side passage over here, just to mix things up, which was distinctly lacking from that other location. I'm just gonna keep on rattling off in that one location, saying every comparing everything to that shitty location that I got really annoyed by the lack of diversity there. Uh, Alright, here we go. This is the next little area for it. <gasps> oh my god! Wow, that reeks of absolute annihilation in there. Holy shit, I am amazed I didn't fall down that. That took a lot of restraint. Because goddamn was I going to be a goner there. Okay. That trap right there would work infinitely, infinitely better than, you know, like the, the alia trap that like lifts you up in the sky really quick. That shit is so awful. This, that was a good trap right there. Ascended Zealot. Wow, that was... I almost skipped it. My heart skipped a beat on that one. God damn, dude. You have a sword? Mages that use swords. That's pretty cool. What the hell'd you got? There you are. Dude, die. Fucking die, my guy. Holy fucking hell. Stop resisting all the damn magic. Holy shit, just die. Ah, oh, well, you're gonna die from... Oh, you didn't even die from the fall. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Well, guess I just gotta explore the rest of the place now. I'll go find him after. <laughs> oh, boy. Chest. Thank you. Cool. Ooh. Ah! There's the exit. Nice. Okay. Oh, I found the exit, and then we need this. This leads to this urn that we saw before, which didn't have a lot in it, which is highly disappointing. Um, and then we just gotta go back and fall down through that, uh... Oh! How'd you get back up here, dude? Alright, first off, get over here. You, you should not be way over there. Also, how'd you get your health back? You should not have all your health back. So that's just like reset on your on its own. Or what's, what's the deal with that? No, fuck you trying to heal yourself. No, no. Thank you. Jeez, you are actually annoying. Okay, let's uh, quick save, and then we'll fall down. See what the hell's going on down here. How do I get out of this? Oh, is this literally... Oh. Okay. I, I was expecting, like, something, like, actually out there, something kind of weird I'd have to fight through or whatnot. Nope, literally just, uh, that, yeah, that's it. Just go walk up and press the button. You, you, congratulations, you survived the trap. Okay, well, whatever. And let's get out of here. Back into the realm of Shayagorath. Well, we covered it hell of a lot of ground today. Uh, I would be curious just to travel east right now. Eh, we can do that later. We'll do that in the next episode. There's going to be a lot of time to explore this area. I feel like there's a lot more quests than there are um, 
actual locations to explore. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this. No, it's not. No, it's not. You gotta read. You gotta read a book. King. How long is King? Ooh, I didn't check off that I read that other book, did I? No, I did not. Shit, what was the name of that book that we read before? Start with an N. Narvar Moon and Stars, maybe? No, notes. It was the notes, right? The notes on the racial stuff. Um, hmm. What is a fairly short, preferably short book that we can read right now? Something like seven, eight pages long. There we go. Song of the Alchemists. The Song of the Alchemists. Ancient Tales of the Dwemer. Part five. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. When King Meta Maranian's alchemist had to leave his station after a laboratory experiment that yielded detonation, the word went on that the king did not want a new savant to mix his potions and brews, but he declared he would only choose a fellow who knew the tricks and the tools. The king refused to hire on more fools. Was that rhyming that whole time I didn't realize? The station... Detonation, want, savant. Yeah, I, I did not read that as if there was a rhyme in there until the last sentence. Okay. After much deliberation, discussions, and debates, the king picked two well-learned candidates. Why do the names have to be so goddamn complex? Uh, Inthippus Minthark, an emphatic pair, an ambitious pair, Vied to prove which one was the best, said the king, there will be a test. They went to a large chamber with herbs, gems, tomes, pots, measuring cups, all under high crystalline domes. Make me a tonic that will make me invisible, laughed the king in a tone some, some would call risible, I suppose. So emphatic, fair, and I in the pissmenthurk, began to work. What a stupid fucking name. Mincing herbs, mashing metal, refining strange oils, cautiously setting their cauldrons to burbling boils. Each on his own, sending mixing bowls mixing, sometimes peeking to see what the other was fixing. After they had worked for nearly three quarters an hour, oddly specific, Inthipidus Minthurk in emphatic fear, Winked at the other, certain he won, said King Maranian. Marani? Maranian? <laughs> God, I suck with names. Now you must taste the potions you've wrought. Take a spoon and sample it right from your pot. Minthurk vanished as his lips touched his brew, but Fair tasted his and remained apparent in view. You think you mix silver, blue diamonds, and yellow grass? The king laughed. Look up, fear, up to the ceiling glass. The light falling makes the ingredients you choose. Quite the different hues. What do you get? asked the floating voice, bold, of a potion of red diamonds, blue grass, and gold. By Dwemer God, said fear, his face in a wince. I've made a potion to fortify my own intelligence. Publisher's note. This poetry is so clearly in the style of Gorfellum that it really does not that it really does not need any co commentary. Note the simple rhyming scheme of A A B B C C, the sing song but purposefully clump uh, clumsy meter in the recurring jokes at the obviously absurd names. Thank you. Emphatic fear in uh, Inthipus Minthur Minthurk. The final joke that the stupid alchemist invents a potion to make himself smarter by pure accident would have appealed to the anti-intellectualism of audiences in the interregnum period, but would certainly be rejected by the Dwemer, of course. Notes that even Ma Marabar Sol refuses to name any Dwemer gods. The Dwemer religion, if it can even be called that, is one of the most complex and difficult puzzles of their culture. Over the millennia, the song became a popular tavern song in High Rock, before eventually disappearing from everything but scholarly books, much like the Dwemer themselves. Uh, okay. Song of the Alchemists. Hmm. 
And actually, there was another book over here. What was it? Just Sithis? I I'm surprised I haven't read this book. But sure, I'm going to read Sithis as well. Sithis. Sith Sithis is the start of the house. Before him was nothing. But the foolish Altimer have names for and revere this nothing. That is because they are lazy slaves. Indeed, from the sermons, Stasis asks merely for itself which is nothing. Sithis sundered the nothing and mutated the parts, fashioning from them a myriad of possibilities. These ideas ebbed and flowed and faded away, and this is how it should have been. One idea, however, became jealous and did not want to die. Like the stasis, he wanted to last. This was the demon Anu Anuel, who made friends, and they called themselves the Aedra. They enslaved everything that Sithis had made and created realms of everlasting imperfection. Thus are the date are the Thus are the Aedra, the false gods, that is, illusion. So Sithis begat Lorcan and sent him to destroy the universe. Lorcan, unstable mutant. Lorcan had found the Aedric the Adric weakness. While each rebel was, by their nature, immeasurable, they were through jealously and vanity, also separate from each other. They were also unwilling to go back to the nothing of before. So while they ruled their false dominions, Lorcan filled the void with a myriad of new ideas. These ideas were legion. Soon it seemed that Lorcan had a dominion of his own, with slaves and everlasting imperfections, and he seemed for all the world like an Adra. Thus did he present himself as such to the demon Anuel and the Eight Givers as a friend. Go on to the, Sh the Charmat de Goth Ur as a friend. I herma mora altadun padhom lakan ael. Okay, I thought that would be about, like, Sithis, but apparently maybe Sithis is, like, uh, you know, uh, Adra, like an evil Adra, whatever the fuck. I don't even know how the hell to describe Sithis and Lorcan and all that shit. Anyway. That's going to do it for this video. So with that, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, when we return, I think I'm just going to do some of the... Um, I think I'm, I, I might just do some quests uh, that are within that, uh, you know, Bliss and, and uh, the other place. Do some of those side quests before we get too far uh, into the main storyline. And by too far, I mean literally just meeting Shea Gorath. We'll save that for we'll save that for some time in the future. But um, yeah, with that, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you join us in the next video. And God, I keep trying to remember what that random dude says. Al Goodalbuk good or some shit like that. I forget. I don't know. Goodbye. I don't even know how to cope without you Cause I don't want to see the flow without you Refuse to even leave my home without you Or my brain's gonna explode without you I don't even know how to cope without you